Have you ever wondered why the entire continent of Antarctica doesn't belong to any country? It's the southernmost and most remote continent, and no single nation can claim it. Covering nearly 14 million square kilometers, it's bigger than the United States, China, or Canada, and almost twice the size of Australia. Interestingly, Antarctica's size isn't fixed. It grows dramatically in winter when the sea ice expands, making it even larger than Russia. Then, in summer, it shrinks as the ice melts back. Antarctica was first discovered just over 200 years ago, and it quickly caught the attention of many nations. The first territorial claims came from countries like France, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Britain even passed parts of its claimed land to Australia and New Zealand. Later, Chile and Argentina joined in, asserting their own claims over parts of the continent. One of the most fascinating areas is called Marie Bird Land, the largest unclaimed region on Earth, so remote and inaccessible that it remains free from any nation's control. But during the Cold War, things took a serious turn. Fearing the possibility of nuclear testing in this untouched region, several countries came together to sign the Antarctic Treaty in 1959. This agreement put a halt to all territorial claims and declared Antarctica a peaceful, neutral zone, meant only for scientific research and the protection of the environment. It's a unique global experiment in cooperation and conservation.